just right. They got your shirt, your jacket, black ball fairy logo. <laughs> yeah, something. Or something like that. <laughs> oh, there he goes, down under. We were in Victoria at one of the little bays where the fancy houses are, and there was a otter sitting, pulled himself up onto someone's deck, and he was sunning, and my wife went down with the, there he is again, my wife went over with the camera onto someone's property, you can't see him, and this guy was flipping back and forth, oh, a little bit this way, a little bit that way. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you do your job. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to make a big circle. Yeah. A little bit of weight on the end. Yeah, it's been tossed a few times. Anyways, this guy was just a riot, so my wife got a whole bunch of pictures and nobody came out of their million dollar house and says, what the heck are you doing on my private property? Which is exactly what she was doing, but it was pretty funny. Should I be, I don't want to get clunked in the head. Oh, uh, you're fine out there. All right. How long have you been doing this job? Uh, I only do it in the summers and this is my second summer. I couldn't believe how strong that piling was because this boat's freaking flying along. And it didn't budge, didn't creak. You hear the rope, you see the water dropping off the rope. And one, one man up there. I wonder if this boat will ever run 24 hours a day. We missed it last uh, couple of days ago. Uh -huh. Well, we were just too far away to make it. We were at Mount St. Helen looking at the mountain with the top blown off. So we had to stay at a flea bag hotel. <laughs> it's pretty gross. It's clean inside the room, but. supposed to be somebody down there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Slept in this morning. Oh, so the rope got wet last time it fell in the water. What does that mean, arrive 20, did he say? Oh. Smile on his face. Hard right. Hard right. pulled into, into this pier a lot slower than last time. Last time we were flying and I watched that rope get tight. It was tight. There it goes. Port to bow. There goes the rope. Yep. Time for the rats to get on or get off, a rocky raccoon. Snap. <laughs> Going into harbor. What is that? Oh yeah. Crunch.
amazing that that wire rope is tied up with just a two or three inch long crimp that long I think they have it overlapped three or four times same thing on that side it's probably soldered in but wow it was my decision I'd pull that rope over and have three of those crimps like I did on my emergency brake cable on my Corvair I guess I'm more concerned than these guys and this thing has stood the test of time just one little crimp right there right there one little crimp it works I forgot to charge my batteries last night so I'm down to my last battery third and final battery it's got 10% left so better turn this thing off and save it for something important we made it into port back to the USA Port Angeles USA go this way slide on in Everybody's waiting for the boat. The 8.30 boat. It's 10 of 8. So in 40 minutes, they'll be loaded up and heading on back to Victoria, British Columbia. They've made it. And off we go. Last time on a drive-on, drive-off, internal drive-on, drive-off ferry in a long time. Oh, big logs, lots of thick and rich creosote. Now we got to clear U.S. customs again. I guess that hot rod eventually got on the boat. <laughs> the guy. Welcome to the U.S.A. And those folks are just waiting to get on to head to their vacation on a Monday morning, I suppose, or back from vacation. Lots of motorhomes. Yep. Boats, trailers, and motorhomes. 